Hello there. Let's talk text features. I wonder what that means. Oh, did you see that sign that says best burger? And that is Chef Louis. Oh, Mr. Louis, I'm hungry for some burger. But when I go inside, there is actually pizza. Now, the sign did not help me predict the first time what I'd be getting from the building. So text features help you make predictions. Chef Louis, thank you for correcting the sign. I'm happy with my pizza, I guess. Let's learn about text features. These are special features in text. They help locate or find information. Like that sign that tells you where you can find pizza. They help make predictions. If I see that sign, I think the restaurant offers pizzas. And they also help remember important ideas. Let's look at these examples. So these are most common text features. The heading or the title, subheading, which is mini headings. So the heading or the title is often written in bold print. And subheading is also written in bold print. Keywords are important words that the author draws attention to in a text. These are often written in italics or in bold print. And text features also includes pictures like diagrams or photographs. You often see diagrams with different labels. Each label tells you what the different part means. And captions are words underneath the picture that tell you more about what you should be looking at. Let's look at an example. Look at that. Now, this is the heading or the title of this passage, Understanding the Weather Forecast, that helps you predict that the passage will talk about weather forecast. Now, these are two keywords that are, one of them is italicized and one of them is in bold. You see the dark letters that appear darker than the others. This is more faded. This is dark. This is the bold print. This is the italics. So that draws your attention immediately, so you know the author will be talking about weather, temperature throughout the test. text. These are the subheadings. They are also in bold print, weather, wind, temperature, cloud coverage. They help you predict that each paragraph talks about what the subheading says. So this paragraph talks about the wind. This paragraph talks about the temperature. This paragraph covers cloud coverage. And moving on to the picture, do you see the diagram that has all different labels? It has pictures and it tells you what the different parts of the pictures are. This is the caption, the small letters underneath a picture that tells you what you should be looking at. Weather symbols for cloud coverage. Oh, we have figured out all the text features now, you, whenever you read a passage and some words or pictures stand out, you know what to predict. More later. Bye-bye.